the cycle of identifying hazards, creating safety goals, and mitigating risk results in a safety case being generated. The safety case demonstrates that a system must be safe because of a combination of a structured argument and evidence to support that argument. The argument can include use of design elements, use of rigorous engineering processes, and use of certified components in a system, among other things. However, each argument must be supported by objective evidence that demonstrates that, for example, design elements were implemented correctly, or the rigorous engineering process specified was actually followed, or third-party component quality is documented by a suitable safety certification. Thus, the safety case will incorporate written descriptions and evidence for at least the following. A methodical identification of hazards, an evaluation of each hazard to determine its risk, appropriate mitigation and rigor used as determined by the risks SIL, and analysis, testing, or other means to ensure that mitigation actually was completed successfully. Additionally, it must be shown that the safety requirements appropriately cover all hazards, including hazards arising from design faults, operational faults, and even credible malicious faults depending on the system context. Because malicious faults can and do occur in the real world, this means that the safety case has to link with a suitable security case at the very least. While there are a number of approaches to creating a structured safety case and tools to support them, an emerging tool worth considering is Goal Structuring Notation, or GSN. At a high level, the general idea of GSN is to take a fault tree and annotate that fault tree with the argument and evidence required to demonstrate that the hazard at the root of the fault tree has been adequately mitigated. 